Hello, and welcome to part four of the series on the various challenges and mental health struggles I've had in my life. This is the promised happy ending, my body is my friend. Here's some big exciting news. I'm Chance. Uh, I've been coming out to everyone lately, or actually lately as in like November when I made these slides. Um, as I said, it took me a while to decide to actually make these videos, but now I thought I would come out on YouTube as well. Uh, my new name is Emily, and my pronouns are she and her. What does this mean for the channel? Not really anything. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to give a happy ending to my story, but more than anything else, more than anything else I did, this is what has really transformed my life. and put me in this, this sort of place I wanted to be, and uh, it makes me feel like I, I, I can have a happy life. Um, so I really wanted to share that. It's something I'm pretty proud of, and I'm very excited about it. So I wanted to share it, because I share so many other things that I'm proud of, that I'm excited about, that I feel like I really want everyone to appreciate. And uh, now I'm one of those things, too. It's still going to be all the same content. Um, uh, so I guess some changes, like you may have known me as Steven, alongside Kitsta. A few times this has come up, that that's my birth name. Um, so now you can just know me as Emily instead. I don't really care though if people use the wrong pronouns in comments or whatever. I don't, I don't need that to be policed. I don't, it doesn't bother me if some stranger misjudges my um, gender because, you know, that's not like a focus for me. Um, so don't like feel like you have to call people out or anything. Um, I think that would just lead to kind of unnecessary confrontation. Um, but you know, if you if you're watching this, please do your best to refer to me that way. Um, so I've always used this channel as a place to kind of experiment with my appearance. As I said before, I, I it was a big help in like getting used to my appearance, but then also kind of pushing it in directions that I thought would make me happy. It seemed like a good opportunity to try those things and see how they resonated with me and just kind of put that out. So uh, like the sort of clothes I wear in videos, um, the fact that I cosplayed for a few videos. Uh, there's, do you remember the makeup video? Only real fans will remember the video where I, uh, me and some friends tried doing makeup and I, I had a little makeover session. Y'all remember that? That was on the old channel. Um, I'll probably continue doing more such experimentation. Uh, not really doing any significant voice changes. It's not my plan. Um, I actually have deliberately tried to change how I speak in through my adulthood. Um, making videos was a big part of this. Uh, starting to sing seriously and join choirs and stuff was a big part of this. Uh, but basically, I used to really hate how my voice sounded. And I realized I could actually do something about it. Like, I try to speak more kind of melodically now and change the pitch of my voice and uh, kind of vary uh, with with some amount of drama, I guess, uh, the, the pace of how I talk. And I don't know. Uh, overall, I, I feel pretty happy with how my voice sounds. So that's not going to be like a major change or anything. But I'll keep working on it. you got to keep trying things and seeing how they make you feel. So please just be supportive of whatever things I'm trying. It's not that you have to say something. It's not that I'm expecting comments like, wow, cute top. I don't care. Like, it's not for that sort of validation. It's more just for, um, you know, myself. But if you do feel like saying like that, it's going to make me happy <laughs> if I read something like that. So it's just up to you. Um, but just please don't be mean. <laughs> like, I think people underestimate how much uh, a comment on something like that can hurt when people are experimenting with how they want to appear and when they're, they're doing things that might feel a little bit scary. Um, it, it doesn't hurt at all to be kind. It doesn't cost anything to just be kind. So, uh, and, and I'm not even asking for proactive kindness. I'm just asking for uh, uh, an absence of meanness. So, you know, thank you. <laughs> as far as future content goes uh, along these lines, um, there, there's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of, I think, videos I can make that could be pretty interesting about this, if people are interested. Uh, like some stuff about my experience realizing, coming out. I kind of wanted this to be like a, a surprise twist, happy ending. So I didn't really cover this sort of stuff in my narrative. 
um, of my mental health and stuff, but it was always there. It was always something I was, like, thinking about. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's I think it's, like, a, 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 like it's the story that I kind of wish I had heard. Uh, the, the sort of story that I feel like could be positive for other people transitioning or thinking about transitioning. So it's something I'd like to share. Um, so th this is something I'm definitely doing. I've, I've made some content, not a ton, but like here and there I'll make small things that have to do with being trans and, and just kind of like self-expression and stuff. And I'm actually really happy with a lot of them. And I want to like share them on this channel and like talk about how I made them and like what they mean to me and stuff. And it sucks that I haven't been able to because I didn't want to like come out like that. Like I, I wanted to make, I don't know, a bigger deal of it, make it more official. Um, but now we can. So look forward to that. There's there's some exciting things, things that I'm making right now too. Uh, maybe like a q and I'm, I, I feel like it's, it's a difficult situation because um, a lot of trans people, uh, it's like really emotionally heavy for them to talk about this sort of stuff. And, and it makes sense that these are like very sensitive areas in their life. Um, but on the other hand, you know, people genuinely want to be educated. They want to like actually engage and learn and, and learn how to be a better ally. So it leads to awkward situations where people are apprehensive about asking. Um, they, they are respectful, which is great. They don't want to like intrude on someone's privacy or force them to speak for larger groups than they're comfortable speaking for or revisit some difficult memories or experiences or whatever. Um, but I genuinely feel pretty open about these things. I feel like I can handle it pretty well. Um, I, I'm, I'm not bragging or anything. That just happens to be the sort of person I am. Um, so I, I would be comfortable like taking questions and, and addressing, I don't know, like to my, the best of my ability. Um, is this, does any of this sound interesting? Is this stuff people would want? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where are you surprised? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people figured it out. If you watched part three of the series, my body is still my enemy. That made, that made it pretty obvious. Um, but did, were people like wondering before? <laughs> um, cause I'm just curious. I'm just curious how like obvious it was. <laughs> Like, I haven't really been trying to, like, hide this at all. Um, uh, but I haven't talked about anything like this either. And it's not like I've been changing my appearance, like, all that dramatically. Um, just kind of small changes to my appearance. And then also, I'm out on, like, most of my other social media. So if you, you know, for whatever reason, have engaged with me on Facebook or something like that, you <laughs> obviously knew. Um, so... I'm just kind of curious. Like, I, I I wonder if I'm making this video and everyone's like, ah, oh, finally. <laughs> um, that's it. I think that's about it. Uh, hopefully this is a satisfying ending to this story of my mental and physical health. I don't mean to suggest, I really want to emphasize this. I don't mean to suggest that realizing I was trans and acting on it is some magical cure-all that it, it just completely dealt with all that other stuff we talked about. No, no. I had to accomplish many, many other things to come this far to even make this like an option. And I still have lots and lots of challenges ahead. I'm facing a major challenge right now. We all are. No need to talk about that. I want this to be a message of hope, okay? I really do. I really, really think that having gone through all this and, and feeling as good about myself as I do now should be a message of hope that it shows, I, th I think it's going to be different for everyone. People are going to have to go through arduous journeys of their own that won't look anything like mine, but that there are journeys you can take. There are places you can get to. You can do it. I did it. You can do it. That's it. Okay. Probably no more videos like this for a while. <laughs> That was... Uh, okay. All right, we did it. Goodbye.